Hi students, we're going to do a basic 20 minute-ish warm-up today. Um, it will cover all your bases for before you start to get on to singing your songs. I know we all want to jump ahead to the fun stuff and actually start on the songs, but um, I'd really like you to do a really thorough warm-up before you do that. If you're an athlete, you wouldn't go straight onto the sports field without having warmed up, and it's the same with your voice. It's all about muscles in your body and here. So um, look after them, treat your voice with respect, do the warm-ups, it's really worth it. Plus the exercises serve technical purposes as well, so as well as warming the voice up, you're actually learning some technical skills, possibly without even realizing it. So the first thing that I want you to do is start to get a little bit physical. So just moving from foot to foot, just le um, lift your heels up so that you're um, sort of jogging on your toes, and that just loosens your knees and your hips up. And then just start moving your upper body as well, just so that you're um, loosening up your rib cage. And then standing a bit stiller, just give your shoulders a roll. If you've got room, just being careful of what's around you. You can swing your arms around a little bit. This one's great because it opens up your chest a bit. And you can um, raise your right arm in the air, left hand on your waist or on your hip. And then if you lean over your pointy elbow, just being careful not to stick your hip right out. You want to keep a nice line through here and that will just open up your rib cage. And then just ease yourself out of that because it's quite a stretch. And then the other way, left arm in the air, right hand on your waist, leaning over the other way. And just feel that stretch all the way through your rib cage down here. And then just easing out of that one giving your shoulders a bit of a roll, just quickly talking about posture. So um, heels underneath your hips, toes ever so slightly turned out. So not 10 to two, but just turned out a little bit. Um, just check again for tension in your knees, make sure that they're loose, standing tall all the way through the spine, through the back of the neck. Imagine you're being suspended from that point there. Chin parallel with the floor. And then just give your shoulders another little roll. Hands just should hang nice and loosely by your sides. And then we're just going to do some yawning, which should be easy enough. So a good proper yawn and hold it with your mouth really, really wide open. So. <sighs> just feel what's happening inside your mouth when you do that yawn. Do one again. So you should feel that your soft palate raises up. That's behind the hard palate. So behind the roof of the mouth, you've got this stretchy skin soft palate, which rises up when you do a yawn and that gives you a nice resonating space inside your mouth. So that should raise up and your throat should be nice and open. So you should feel everything feels lovely and open when you do a proper yawn. That's all we're gonna do. First exercise, all about yawning. This is great. So yawning the breath in, and out to ha. So just, just a whisper, not making sound. So not ha, not voiced in any way. And do that twice. And next one is he. And again. He. And again. Ho. And again. Ho. And again, and ha again, and again. Great. So the idea with this gesture that I make, it's not about the direction of the breath going in, because obviously the breath in is, is going here and moving down into your body, but it's really just to, um, 
to get you to imagine and feel that soft palate raising up. So it's almost as though the breath feels like it's going up because the soft palate's raising right up. But what you want to focus on is the breath coming right down. Feel it going into the base of your back and that will get all the musculature working properly amongst your ribs and your abdominals and your intercostal muscles. So just yawning the breath in again. We'll just go through those all once more. So the first one is ha, yawn it in. again. Great. So you'll notice that every time we take a breath we want the mouth to be nice and open like it is in the yawny position when we do a proper yawn. And whenever you make sound or you create a vowel sound with your mouth you want your mouth to stay as wide open as possible as well. So the next one is an extension to that exercise. It goes like this. We yawn the breath in and then we do hey So it starts quite high with a H in front of the E sound. So hey And then drop the jaw and don't worry about trying to control the sound or make it sound nice. It doesn't matter if you have a little glitch as, a, as you go through the passaggio of the voice. It clunks, mine clunks, it's absolutely fine. It's all about learning how to regulate the breath flow. So don't worry about the sound that you're making. Don't listen to the sound that you're making. Just concentrate on taking the breath in the correct way. So here we go, hee again. Hee Next one's hee Last one, hee hee Great. Next thing we're going to do is a couple of sirens. These are fantastic, probably scare your bubble um, sharing people in your household. Um, so we're going to start to an oo, open up to an ah at the top and then close back down to an oo as we come back down. So they go like this, starting as low as you can. Again, don't think about it too much, don't listen to yourself. It's all about airflow and just accessing top and bottom of the voice in a really gentle way. So yawn the breath in. Starting low. Great, and then there's a second one that has three extensions at the top. It's exactly the same, but we do this instead. Ooh. And off you go. You're on the breath in. Starting low. Ooh. Great. That's the warm up started and underway. Now we are going to do some, if you can, some rolled R's. So, if you can't make a rolled R sound, by a rolled R I mean the tip of your tongue against your hard palate here. It's not, it's not in your throat in any way, it's right here at the front. If you can't do it, you can do a V sound, so with your uh, top teeth on your bottom lip, like racing car sounds that kind of noise. And we're going to start for female voices. We're going to start on the A below middle C. If you're a male voice, you're going to want to start, if you're a tenor, the A below that. And if you're a bass, 
You might have an A below that right down there, but it really is too low. So if you're a bass, just join in when it gets to a pitch that you can sing at. So you want to be starting at the bottom end of your register. And we're just going to roll ours up and down a fifth. So it goes like this. You're on the breath in as always. And then breathe again. And then we're just going up in semitones. There's heaps of time to take the breath. Don't rush the breath. Always super slow. Breath. my breaths quite loud I don't want yours to be loud particularly I'm just making them loud so that you can hear them and hear how slowly I take the air in just going to move on to some really gentle humming. So again, starting on the A below middle C for female voices, tenors you're going to be the octave below that down here, um, and basses probably not all the way down there for a hum, but just join in when you get to maybe around about a C or a D, just whenever you can. And we're just humming up and down a five note scale. Again, try and yawn the breath in if you can. sure that your teeth aren't clenched together.
octaves if it's too high. exactly the same exercise but now we're going to start using the Italian vowels va, ve, vi, vo and vu so starting again ladies on the A below middle C um, tenors the octave below basses just join in when you can and it's exactly the same exercise we're just doing ma 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 the breath is super yawny every time you take a breath mouth wide open into that lovely R space which is going to be your singing space resonating space so really important to constantly come back to that yawny R space and then va nice wide open mouth va ve same drop the jaw V slightly different because it's an E sound but try not to do V and make your mouth super wide in that um, east-west direction, V, V, so it still resonates nicely. V, open the mouth again, and V, nice and forward with that placement. I hear a lot of V, U, U, U sound, which is a mixture of U and E. Um, it's what I call a dirty vowel, and we don't want dirty vowels, we want nice pure vowels. Ooh, imagine the Queen saying, Ooh, Philip, Ooh, practice that. Ooh, ooh, Philip, ooh. So that lovely forward pure placement for the voo sound. And then just quickly running through them again. Ba, 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 ba. V, 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 V,
to do um, another exercise now um, starting in the same place so female voices the A below middle C tenors the octave below basses just joining in whenever you can and we start with a third we take a breath and then we sing an up and down major triad and then we do a sixth and descend back down the major triad and we're going to start with so just be careful with your onset. We don't want any uh, uh, uh bumping here. It's called a glottal stop. We want to start with a really nice smooth start. It's a little bit low in the voice for me. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do it down here without showing myself up.
higher because you're getting scared of the high notes. Um, the worst thing you can do is close your mouth, and I know some of you right now will be doing this. And the sound is horrible, I can promise you. The only thing I'm changing is my mouth shape. So just make sure you make yourself open your mouth wide into that yawny space. Really high voices can carry on now. Wide. recapping on that one super super slow breaths into the yawny R space between each stage of the exercise try and keep as calm and relaxed as you possibly can yes you should still be standing up if that's a question that you were going to ask um, and just from time to time just check in and just give your shoulders a little bit of a roll make sure that you're still nice and loose and that your knees aren't locked up and then we'll do a little exercise to um, get the voice down to the to the bottom and see what's happening down there. So um, always a good idea, even if this is below your normal singing register or your usable singing register, the, the register that you would normally allow people to hear you singing in, um, it's a good idea to keep exercising down here because it's all part of your voice, um, even if you don't think it's fit for public consumption. So for ladies, we're starting on middle C, and you're just going to play a C major tri triad, and we're going to come down the way. Um, for gents, we've got tenors starting on the C below middle C. Um, basses, you probably could start this one. You know, if you're a high baritone, you might be able to start up there. Um, but just again, just join in as we move down to where it's comfortable for you. Um, and keep going as far down as it's comfortable for you too. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exercised a little bit. Ladies, as a general rule, you don't want to be carrying your chest voice up above a middle C. So going down with this exercise, anything below a middle to C, it's fine to put that down into your chest voice. You're not going to come to any harm doing that. But when you're singing um, other exercises that maybe start 
down below a middle C. Um, just don't carry that chest voice up above the middle C. Great, and then we'll do something now finally to get the voice back up to where we want it for um, working on songs. So we're going to do our slidey octave. So we're going to start ladies middle C, tenors the octave below, basses just join in when you can. So yawny breath and we're going to slide up an octave and then breathe again and then slide back down. We're going to do all of this to R. So really your mouth shouldn't close at all. slide between notes. to go on and do some serious technical exercises or to start working on your songs. Remember to practice your songs in sections. Don't feel that you have to go through all of your songs from beginning to end every single time you practice. It's a great idea just to isolate a couple of bars that are causing you problems. Turn that into an exercise, practice it up and down a semitone, um, just play around with it until it starts to feel easier. And then when you've worked on all your sections of your songs individually, then you can put it all together as a whole and see how you're going. And I will post some more warm up exercises um, shortly and um, I'll also teach you some songs. So if you want um, a new song to learn, I'll post something shortly. Happy singing in your bubbles. Bye bye. Thank you.